Hello, everyone. Welcome to Film Seizure. We are in week four of our our tour, our our, our walkabout through through Australia. This is week four. I'm joined by Chuck Moore. <laughs> Hi, how are you? You son of a bitch. <laughs> you got this twice in a row. I did. I did. <laughs> yeah, I did, I did you first. And I did you first. I yeah, did you first. You're the sloppy Jeffins. <laughs> yeah. That is my name in certain circles. <laughs> Keep your hands off his cocky. <laughs> <laughs> Don't blow on me, Cookie. <laughs> <laughs> and also, uh, Jeff Arbuckle. Say hello, Jeff. How's Jeff, it going? Jeff, who we found out was basically every crew member of the movie we're about to cover. Yeah. His name they, Jeff they spelled with it with correctly. With G. They yep. spelled it correctly. Yep. Um, Good yes. job, Australia. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we are talking about uh, 1982's comedy musical, Starstruck. Starstruck. <laughs> um yes this is very very little known i think um i didn't know about this movie until a couple of years ago when i was out there like doing like the getting the thing put together for 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 our web page i was like is this the right one? <laughs> is this the right one? Because oh, don't I don't think this is something that Jason would want. But then watching it, it's like, this is totally something Jason would want. Oh, yeah, this is a Jason movie, for sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This is a Jason movie. I, I got obsessed with this movie. Um, Gee, I couldn't see that one coming. Yeah, I watched it a lot uh, during the pandemic. Are, are you saying that this is to you what Xanadu is to me? Probably. Because once it's I watch it once, it's on. Yeah, it's one of them. <laughs> um, this movie and Annette. I watched a whole lot in the last, you know, couple years. Anyway. Well, one of these movies I liked a whole lot better than the other. Yeah, you didn't care for Annette much. And I get it. I get it. But we're not talking about Annette. We're talking about Starstruck. Starstruck. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, so this movie it's um, is directed by Jillian Armstrong. It was um, her second feature, I think, maybe third feature. Her first feature is a movie called My Brilliant Career, which is considered one of the earliest of the Australian New Wave. Kind of, it really put her on the map. It's a period piece. Uh, it takes place in Australia in like the late 1800s or something like that. Ooh. I've not seen it. I don't know a ton about it. But um, but she wanted to do something different. And boy, howdy did she. Yeah. 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 Uh, she turned down another movie to make this one. She turned down uh, an offer to make uh, Puberty Blues, which is a coming-of-age Australian film that came out around the same time, which another movie I like a lot. Uh, I actually thought about potentially putting that one in the month, but I couldn't leave out Starstruck. It was either one or the other right? Um, for that coming-of-age sort of like story. So um, I went with this one. This one's a lot... Uh, so it's a lot less melodramatic, yeah. <laughs> As well, puberty blues is, can get into the t- into the melodrama a little bit, but it's really good, and maybe we'll cover it one day. But she um, she turned that down to make this, and um, and it's just I think it's you could say of of the Australian new wave, this is the first one that we've covered that's really new wave. <laughs> yeah, very new <laughs> like eighties new wave, right? Um, it, it smacks you right in the face with the eighties, and it's a really good. I think it's a really good pump primer for next week as well which is even crazier into like that 80s new wave punk aesthetic yeah right? for sure um but uh, but yeah so i i caught this actually i think the reason i found this movie was i was reading an article somewhere about offbeat musicals or musicals you've never seen or something like that and um this was on the list and uh, another one like um uh ladies and gentlemen the fabulous stains yeah was on the list came out around the same time uh, as this as well and um i watched them both and, it, and you know fabulous stains is okay it 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 it's fine but this one just kind of like knocked me on my ass this movie just feels good yeah it's yeah. like one yeah. of those movies while you're watching it's it's quirky as all hell mm-hmm. right which i i dig but like the whole movie you just kind of feel good yeah yeah it's this is the best feeling movie of the month yep yeah uh 
by a wide margin, I would say. Yes. Oh, yeah. The other ones are all uncomfortable at times. This one is <laughs> yeah. never really uncomfortable nope. at all. No, no, it's just it's pleasant. This and even, is, uh, and even when you could, it could get uncomfortable. It doesn't. It doesn't. No. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it defies all like like creepy expectation. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, like where things can get icky, it totally does does the opposite. Well, and it subverts it. What's yeah. funny is is that this is still. Um, I mean, it's still a movie that has nudity in it. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I mean, I think it would automatically make it R-rated. Yeah, it's got a little nudity and a little bit of language, and that's actually really hurt it in hmm. Australia because they weren't able to promote it on a lot of like the um, cable, not cable, but like the the network TV music shows. Right. They weren't allowed to show clips from it because it was classified not appropriate for children. Which so is- that. That really har- harmed it a lot, which is is ter- which is a shame because it it really could have had a wider audience. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Interestingly, released here is PG, which I guess kind of makes sense because maybe we think back to airplane in 1982. That makes yeah. sense. Yeah, yeah. Um, and really, I mean, when I say there's nudity, in it, it's very very brief, and it's yeah, you know, it's this one where it's like, did I see? Yeah, I think it did. <laughs> did I? Oops, happening it, again. It almost feels like a yeah. mistake. Yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah. oh, she forgot to cover up yeah. or something. Yeah. It's yeah. um Yeah. But it's not it's not it's not lurid at, at all. No, no. It's uh you know, it's 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 in that it's in that Titanic uh, PG thirteen yeah. zone of totally. it's not taken as it's not as sexy as you think it is. Right. Yeah. Right. But um, that, if that makes sense, I guess. Yeah, for sure. sure. Um and yeah the the two leads um Angus and Jackie they were unknowns they auditioned I think there was like a countrywide casting call yeah and they were the two that won out just kind of neat um they both I think are great in it uh, Angus especially I just love well he carries he has to carry the rest of the movie that whenever Jackie's not there absolutely um and when they're together they don't dominate each other mm mm-hmm. Um, that's a difficult thing. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I, uh, no, Angus is, uh, Ross O'Donovan is his name. He was, he was an interesting character. Yeah. And was, I mean, he drives the whole story really yeah. forward. Like if it weren't for him, Jackie would just be singing at the bar. Yeah. Until it's gone. Yeah. He's, he's her, her biggest advocate. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And they, their relationship is so believable Mm -hmm. for two people who are unknowns obviously probably didn't know each other Mm -hmm. going into filming it's like they look like they've been together for 14 years yeah good chemistry yeah Yeah, it's like they they they, i mean they have to play like their brother and sister Mm -hmm. even though they're cousins right and yeah you're right chuck they 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 seem like when the camera's not rolling they're palling around still right yeah 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 and and their characters have, have quite an age difference too which makes for an interesting dynamic as well, right? Right. Because um, she's 18, right? She, yeah, she's a, she's an adult in the movie. And I think in real life, they were 21 and 17. Yeah. yeah. So still about the same, same difference. age difference. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah I mean, uh, Ross O'Donovan only had four credits. Yeah. Uh, four TV episodes or four TV credits and then two movies. Yeah, I don't believe Jackie Joe Kennedy did much either. Um, at least nothing big that i know of yeah um no and uh, she's oh yeah right here right here and i told you jason right here there's shine what was she who was she in shine she was Susie as an adult huh that's interesting so yeah who directed shine um scott hicks um so yeah uh yeah, I want to talk a little bit about Joey Kennedy because she is endlessly interesting to look at. Mm-hmm. And that's interesting, too, because as I said during the movie, everybody looks almost like somebody else, <laughs> yeah. except for her. Yeah. She's completely and totally original. And it kind of ends up making her a little bit more compelling because it's like, you're attracted to her and she's not overly what you would typically consider attractive. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't mean that as a slight, she's obviously attractive, but that's a lot of it is she is 
seemingly a very fun and attractive personality. And yeah, I want to hang out with, with her. Yeah. You know, it's like she's she's a fascinating character and she's likable and she doesn't I mean, she makes one mistake in an interpersonal relationship in this, but it doesn't make her unlikable. No. It makes her an eighteen year old. Yeah. Who wants to be a star, you know? Right. It's like that it's it's a typical fault that people like that have. And it doesn't make her unlikable. In fact, she's easily forgiven for it. Right. Um and which would be uh, which could be something a a lesser movie would flop on Mm -hmm. would fail with so yeah anyway this is one of those types of musicals that i like also right where it has a reason to be a musical for one thing that doesn't it doesn't a movie doesn't have to have a reason to be a musical for me to like it as a musical always but it helps a whole lot yeah um and this is definitely one of them and it's also a musical with a long stretches of dramatic comedy, right? right? It's not like, and not everything is sung. They're, 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 they're not, they're sprinkling in musical numbers rather than sprinkling in moments of dialogue, right? Right. Hmm. Which I prefer from my musicals. And when I think of musicals, that also extends to things like Streets of Fire, right? Which is... It's a it's a musical, but it's more of like a rock and roll opera, right? Right. And this is this kind of feels more in that vein a as bit. well. Yeah. You There's know, a third thing about this musical that I like, and it happens a lot in musicals, but all of the songs inform the story. Yeah. Yeah. True. Right. And that's yeah. a thing that happens in musicals, but it's done really well here. Yeah. Like almost every song is her explaining the emotion she's having right. at that moment. Yeah. Which, it stays it's on really theme. well done. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. And it stays. It says on story plotting. Yeah. Yeah. Like she's singing about trusting mm-hmm. the producer. Then right. she sings about like her temper early on mm-hmm. and like all sorts of other things she sings about that are relatable to her situation. Yep. Yep. Um, I should mention that the production designer of um, Rocky Horror and Shock Treatment, Brian Thompson, was also, also production designer for this, which is, is very cool. I am... Um, very, it looks a lot like shock treatment. Yeah, it does. It really does. Yeah, and I I am one of those weirdos who prefers shock treatment to Rocky Horror. Um, yeah, no, you're not a weirdo for that. Um, I I, I, I would, see I would, two, I would guess I'm in the minority. You though. probably are. Yeah. Um, I, and you're a weirdo, <laughs> but not for that, right? <laughs> um, no, I I would say that I only give Rocky Horror a slight bump just because there's a visual look to that 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 is never been duplicated yeah um although i would say that there's a lot going on in shock treatment that i like a little bit more um chuck have you ever seen shock treatment no so i don't want to comment but i was going to say that like tim curry is a big plus in anything he's in oh yeah him in rocky horror in particular is one of those that's up i mean that's yeah. up there for his right performance for me it? for me it's the yeah tim curry's great in it yeah i love tim curry i love honestly everybody in rocky horror is really fun but um i like the music in shock treatment better yeah, yeah that's fair. that that there's I a couple there's a couple on. of songs that are just fantastic in shock yeah. treatment. well what about the songs in this movie though what do you guys pretty, think good. About I, pretty good i really like the songs in this movie <laughs> pretty good I, I even like Starstruck. <laughs> that that one, like the the theme, is a little too loungy for the movie for me. And her apology song, I didn't really love. Yeah, that's the one part of the movie where it kind of like for about ten minutes, it, it just kind of lo- it loses its energy. Yeah, yeah. Which yeah. is, I guess, it's needed for for propelling the story forward, yeah. right? Like she needs to apologize. Yeah, and she needs to learn something, and the family's got to come back together. And be strong as as a unit, right? Yeah. And they're going to be okay whether she wins the money or not. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Speaking of the family, they are absolutely wonderful mm-hmm. in this yes. movie. And very needed. It I, There's something like a movie on the tip of my tongue where there's a family like this that I cannot remember. But every one of them has like a place in the story, right? They have They have something they're adding. Like the mother is the... 
you know, you're you're never going to be a star. And it's not like in a really negative. It's you got to get you got to get into the real uh, real life stuff because we got drinks to serve. Right. Right. Yes. Right. We have, we she's have not take... trying to kill her dreams, but she's trying to bring Set some expectation. Bring some uh yeah, some, some practicality to her life. Yes. Yeah. 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 That's a good way of saying it. And then her grandmother, who kind of is a little bit of a dreamer, even though yeah. it's not her d- direct grandmother. It's uh, Angus's grandmother. Angus's yeah. grandmother. Um, and then some other just wacky wild people with per- co- cockies. And, <laughs> oh, yeah. Know, like, the, the, yeah, the uncle that just walks around with that cockatoo all the time. Well, he's the best because he undercuts like every moment that it's getting a little bit melodramatic or serious. And then he walks in. He'll walk in with a bird or with a freaking his little hand cane, you know? Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> the hand thing that they turn the, the TV volume up with is just hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> and it does. It breaks the tension, like, yeah. in that, that one scene in... I don't know if we should get ahead, but when Angus's dad steals the money from the safe yeah, and takes yeah, off. Yeah. And it's still kind of, like, light. Well, Angus know? makes a, makes a joke. Yeah. yeah, he makes a joke. He's like, yeah. But anyway, like when the hand comes in, the room, <laughs> it just breaks all of any tension that could have been there at all. Yeah, yeah. And and Angus's joke is 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 funny and sad, right? It is because it's the the bad news is he took all of her money. The good news is dad left. <laughs> yes, Dad, dad's with that money. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it has a kind of humor about sadness that I liken to like Vonnegut. Yeah. Right. Like it takes very that's high s- praise. It, yeah, I mean, it's it's stylistically definitely like that because you take something that is could be really sad, mm-hmm. like destroy you and make you laugh at it. Yeah. Well, it, which still lets you deal with the emotion that you would have. Sure, it's not right. like taking away from that emotion, but it's a way of letting you get it out. Yeah. Well, it, it also uh, builds uh, the, the the character within the family too, right? Mm-hmm. Like it's um, this family. There isn't anything this family hasn't been trampled by right you know it's like the bar is failing they always are owing bills they're always behind they're you know they they have their regular customer is always um is always uh complaining scamming free drinks off of them yeah Um, there's at least three parents who are not really in the picture right yeah um and then there are uh you know and so at this point it's like well they've survived this long they might as well have a laugh yeah Yeah. i think actually now i'm starting to remember the family i think it's the family from willy wonka the four grandparents that's what i was gonna ask you about that it was like you think of willy wonka yeah that that feels right yeah Yeah. it's like that those people that are just like confined and restricted to this place but they keep the energy like they keep the yeah it's Mm. we're we're you know we we live in squalor but we have each other right so is it that bad right and the grandmother's like uncle joe yeah or grandpa joe excuse me a little bit (laughs) right yeah it is yeah she's definitely got a grandpa joe thing going on yeah gosh was she so excited when she gets to the studio oh my god for jackie's first performance she's like she's like She's one of the first people in with all the kids that are running yep. in. <laughs> yeah. Well, and then yeah, and then she's like trying to get all the seats together, so she's like shooing yeah. kids up. Yeah, she like that, shoves that one kid. There, yep. is, there is something kind of, in a way, heartbreaking about that scene, because we know that that's not really Jackie singing in right. that scene. Right. She is uncomfortable. She thinks she sucks. It, it's it's a disaster. Yeah. But she has a supportive family there. Which the is... the four family members are clapping their balls off, and it's like you can see them in the background. Out of when she's not looking, she's not seeing the support, right? And it, it leads to the next thing, which is the what she thinks is the dream crusher, which is also very funny. But <laughs> uh, but no, I mean, like if she just turns around, like you almost expect, like in a normal movie. In maybe a lesser movie, even she would turn around and it would focus in on the background and seeing the family, and, and she'd start crushing it or something, or she would do something yeah. to to understand that they're really with her, right? But you know, it's like they they showed up for what they thought was going to be it for her, and they applauded her even though she thought she was terrible, right? And that says a lot about that family, and it says a lot even more. That it's probably good that she didn't see that, that they didn't put that into the movie where she actually saw that support. Right. 
because at least they think that she's capable. Right. Um, so if she can do the thing that needs to be done, they yeah. already know that she's going to be worthy. But even if she saw it, she still knows that she kind of betrayed Angus. Sure. And her band. Yeah. To sell out to, and, and ultimately, like, try to be something that she's not. I think that's Absolutely. the part that hurt her the most, yeah. personally, yes. but, yeah. Yeah, and but the, but the thing is, is that we know, now that we know a little bit more, that, like, if she can figure out however to make it work, that, that makes it work for her, the family's going to believe in her. Right, yeah. And that's the key thing of that scene. It's just, it, it's... It hurts a little bit because it's like oh, you, just, you see them in, in out of frame behind her, yeah. alone in the stands, cheering still, and she doesn't turn around. Yeah. So for for those of you who might be listening who haven't seen the movie, we kind of have. Just, I'm going to assume probably many. most of ninety nine percent of the world. <laughs> it, it, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, unless you're just only the people who click on it or people who know the movie, that could that could happen. Right. Um. But uh, the um, we have kind of two different sort of story tropes happening in this movie you've got the um uh the we've got to save the the farm or we've got to save the house plot line right the goonies plot line. yeah the goonies plot, plot line they're going the bank's going to foreclose we've got to come up with this much money or we're on the streets kind of deal right yeah and they they don't just run the bar they live at the bar yeah they too. live above the bar it's like a bar slash hotel but i don't think they really use it as a hotel they use it as a home yeah and um and then you've also got the the stars born storyline, right? Right. The the young talent, the who's, starlet, the starlet who's trying to to make it big, right? Um, and so both of those things converge, and they and both things kind of pay off together in one big happy ending. Yeah, you know? right. I mean, the reason that she's doing this number we talked about that she has lost her band. That she was never really in the band, but right, um, right. <laughs> because the producer yeah, they just kind of like they just showed up and Angus is like, all right, you're it, you know? yeah. <laughs> but a producer is he a producer? I think he's a producer, maybe. Yeah, well, he's like he's like a Dick Clark, right? He, yeah, he runs that he American runs Bandstand, American dude. Bandstand yeah, host kind of guy. Wow, right. is the yeah, yeah, yeah. So he is running a contest, um, that ends at the the Opera House in. What do we say, Sydney? Sydney, yeah. And uh, she, on New Year's Eve, she, yeah, she like kind of woos him with her music, right? Like her well, Angus, well, Angus, well, Angus gets his attention, yeah, because Angus is like, you know, you're, you're, no one's gonna pay attention to you unless you do something outrageous. You need a stunt. You need basically. a stunt. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And like, we see, and oh, this is perfectly done too. Because randomly, it's like, why is she tight walk, tightrope walking <laughs> the over the bar? It's like, and and like nobody, it's like everybody's like trying to figure out. It's like, why did you learn to do this, or why? How do you know to do this? And uh, yeah, and then like Angus puts two and two together. It's like, okay, well, she'll be outside doing this between two buildings. Uh, yeah, nude, nude. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what he tells he's, he's trying to tell people he's like that she's going to do this stunt, and he's like getting attraction. Then he finally was like. Well, she's going to do a nude. <laughs> and the guy, the, the reporter he's talking to on the phone is like, oh, really? At what time and what place will this be happening? <laughs> <laughs> so that draws the attention of, I think his name is Terry. Yeah. Um, and he gives her a spot at that show that she's at where he says, nope, you're doing it with the house band. Yeah. Things go awry. Well, she it, doesn't she, earn her spot. Well, the here's the thing, though, is that he, um, he spends the day with her and with Angus. 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 And then Angus is like, "Hey, band that you didn't want to play for, come on, come on in. Let's let's do a song." Yeah, they yeah. do a song at the bar. Yeah, and he's there too, so yeah. he sees the energy that these. I mean, like this band is kind of a natural fit. Yeah, like he's they into all it. work. Yeah, he's into it, but still, no, nope, yeah, just her. Right. He's only interested in her, and um, which and you start to kind of like in a again in a lesser movie and a more cliched movie. You kind of get the sense that oh, is he like just He's in it because dirty old he, right? Is this is this like you know Harvey Weinstein right? Yes, yeah, right. Totally subverts that yeah. in a really awesome. <laughs> it's like the best way ever. I love this watch. <laughs> <laughs> well, and because also like the they do go to because um, she does get a chance to play at like this club, 
that's like basically the beginning of the movie. Like when we first meet Angus, he's telling her, I got you a spot at their regular hangout. Right. Um, which is funny because it's like you have a band, then you have um, like a belly dancer. She was a flamenco okay, a flam- dancer. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And then she gets booed off. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Flamenco was just not flying at the and apparently at the not. Lizard Lounge. No, there was no. no dance to do along with it. Like no. they didn't have the, and, and the, and the house the band number. is the Wombats who who becomes Jackie's band. They they're just trying to play like some some like Spanish tune yeah. or the right. Flamenco tune. They're not really into it. Yeah. <laughs> well, and then, <laughs> and then they um and, and so then she performs and it, it blows the roof off the place. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, that's what he says to the parent or to the mom. It's like, well, what'd you do that with hot air? <laughs> yeah, it, you know, like she's just like, oh, whatever. It's like, but she hooked up with the lead guitarist of the Wombat. Robbie. Yes, and, w- Wombie? Robbie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so they they and so that's like they sleep together. She's out all night, and then so it's like right there, she's got a boyfriend, which then makes this whole Terry situation. Yes. Uh, that much more of a problem that you would, uh, are, you know, it's like you're seeing her make that mistake. Right. And and Angus is kind of calling her out on it. Yeah. He's like, you know, oh, yeah, you're just, you know, sleeping with the guitar so you can get in the band. And then when the same thing starts happening with Terry, he's like, you know, who are you? Like, right. Yeah. He's he's questioning her motives. Yeah. yeah. And, um, and she's like, well, you just, it's who you know. Yeah. Right. She's fallen into all the all the familiar traps. Right. Yeah. And so yeah, so then like of course uh the the introduction of Terry, even though it could be a great thing, rubs everyone except for Jackie the wrong way. Yeah. Yeah. Um and yeah, it's like you're right. It's like I, I'm sitting there thinking like you are. It's like, oh, this guy is taking advantage right, of right. of kind of a naive girl who just wants to be a pop singer. Yeah. Separating her from her from her guitarist boyfriend, yep. separating her from her friend and her cousin, family. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like classic kind of predator stuff, right? Yeah. 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 And you know, and it's like she just wants this bad enough to where she's going to kind of just accept it. Yeah. You know. But it turns out Terry is just doesn't really have good instincts for what sells uh, musically. <laughs> because that and also it turns out he's mega gay. Well, get right. Because <laughs> it is. He's mega gay. And uh, which means exactly that he just has poor instincts about what would sell. Well, he's, her, stuck, he's, stuck a decade, her, he's stuck a decade before because exactly. the yeah. number she has to do is a 70s. Right, right. Exactly. Right. It's, it's a not, 70s ballad. So he's totally misunderstanding yeah. like the current state of music, yeah. what what she's doing, you know, what what the band is capable of. Like he is he's completely out of any he's out of touch. Right. right. He just yeah. thinks the kids will like a pretty young girl. Right. Which, Which is, is common in pop music. And he does say right. even when she fails doing that, you know, 70s disco tune, which is so hilariously bad. Yeah. Like it is. It, and her, her like awkward dancing and trying to find She's, the, trying to find the right camera to point into. Oh my God. The <laughs> camera guys killed. are more entertaining and, than and her. You, and you yeah. got Jeffrey Rush in his first role who's like trying to like direct her to the right camera. And it's so funny. It, well, and, and you could just see her becoming more and more lost. Well, and there yeah. are times where it's like she almost breaks into a dance. Yeah, but she can't. There's like there's she's no not, beat to it. To, she's not to, inside the song at she, all. Right. She's like, got this, this dress on. This is wrong. Her hair hairdo is wrong. Well, she's wearing a big giant wig. Yeah, that looks like she looks like she looks like a country singer. Yeah, she kind of does because yeah. she's got like the big hair that's like really long. Also, mm-hmm. she's all in like gold lame or whatever. You know, it's it's just it doesn't. It's she needs to be in loud colors and spiky hair. And yeah, dancing around like she is essentially Cindy Lauper. Yeah, that's what I. That's yeah. the vibe I got from exactly. her all movie like Go Go's and Cindy Lauper like Absolutely. mixed Absolutely. together kind of. Yep. Yeah, yeah, mix those two styles together. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. there is a rock. El- I mean, she is more rock than pop. Yeah. So yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's good. 
I like the songs, and even that '70s song, I was like, "Yeah, oh, I can kind of." You can kind of dig. I kind of dig this a little bit, but it, but it's but it's so awkwardly perfect. Right? Well, it's, yes. it's awkwardly presented, which makes the scene, yes. which makes the song worse than it really is. If right. you hear that song in a vacuum, one hundred percent true. One hundred percent true. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and the right context, right, right. It it could be yes, enjoyed, not awkwardly. Yeah. Um, I like the song. I like the music too. I really like Angus's song. He only gets that one song, but it's my favorite. The "I Want to Live in a House," and song. I think he really sings that. That sounds yeah, like it yeah, him. it's it's it definitely him. him. Yeah. Um, um, the choreography on that is so just off that I love it. Like yeah. the the way that that it's like so it's like a manic fifties doo wop thing. Almost. Yeah, it kind of does a little have a little bit of that going on, right? Yeah. Um. Yeah, and it's all well. Yeah, it's like every music moment is shot like an mtv video mm-hmm. which if you think about when this comes out it's perfect because mtv was the year before maybe was the year before but all around the world there were other video shows that were ramping up to mtv deciding this could be a 24 7 thing right? right and so it is shot in that way like the stuff on stage is shot like night flight or uh midnight express or something like that but everything else is shot like promo videos yeah. that are actually crammed into a movie right but feels natural to be there it's funny because this movie if you talk to um jillian armstrong she'll tell you it came just a little too early right mm. because interesting it, it just the the australian new wave um the music new wave of australia hit like just a couple years after this so she tapped into it before she tapped into it before i mean it was happening like the split ends it was who the band that are the are the wombats who were actually the swingers the guy the guy from two of the guys i think from split ends were in the swingers who play the wombats and then one of the guys from from (laughs) (laughs) one of the guys from the swingers the swingers were a real band right right one of the guys from the Swingers went on to become the basis of Midnight Oil. Right. Right. Midnight Oil was a huge export. Yeah. Um, in Excess came a couple years later. Massive export. Oh, man. In I mean, Excess Australian music in the new wave, like 80s, hit hard. Well, yeah, it's funny because it's like, you know, I, I can't help so, it. So they weren't able to capitalize on it. Right. Right? Because it came first. Yeah. Yeah. And whenever I think of In Excess, it's like I, I immediately, because they seem... NXS and U2 are almost interchangeable in that era, in that mid-80s era. Depends on what you like, but... Well, but I mean, like, I'm talking like Joshua Tree, Devil Inside. It's, they're very, they, they're, there's a close sound to those. Okay. I mean, they're equally, like, massive. Massive. Yes, it's, yes. It's from different ends of the... Yeah. But, but, but like I said, it's like, the first time you see a Jackie perform... The first thing I thought of was missing persons. Mm. It's like this is the the weird kind of robotic movement, yeah. bopping and like like really new wave type yeah. stuff. And so it's like it seems like they were. It was, seems like Jillian Anderson knew more of the United States new wave. And, well, yeah, I mean that's probably you know like it's like this is coming, art, right? Or it, it's coming. Art you know. imitates life, yeah, yeah, because yeah, right. I mean, you're, I think you're right. I mean, you had you had some Australian bands like the Split Ends and and the Swingers who were starting to try to emulate that L.A. Yeah. new wave because that's what Missing Persons. They're the right. epitome of the L.A. LA new wave. Yeah, right. Yeah, um, you're right though. Even um, what's her name, Terry Bazio, I think was the singer for Missing Persons. Is she Jack? Um, What's her name? Jackie even kind of sounds like her yeah. a little bit. Yeah. That is exactly. It's like it's that, the, that, that kind of quirky high pitch. Yeah. Thing. I got a little yeah. Tom Tom Club from it. Too, yeah. Which is like the same year. Yeah. Like the 81. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it is like post. This is talking heads. Kind yeah. Of. This yeah. is all first year MTV. Yeah. Stuff. Yeah. You know, and it's like it's it's and it's early for Australia, which is hilarious. Yeah. It's like it's right on target here, but early for Australia. Oh, it's blowing up here. Yeah. And it's, and it's early for Australia. Yeah. 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 Most definitely. Interesting. Yeah. Huh. Huh. Yeah. All right. How well, where that? are we? I mean, it's a good movie. I I, <laughs> I, 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 I annoyed the hell out of Susan with this movie for like a month <laughs> after I watched Which it. Which is, but the thing is, is, so, I mean, is do you have... 
did you have concern that it's like, oh, she's immediately going to dislike it because I'm, uh, I'm like hitting her big with this. Yeah, that's always a, that's always a concern, right? Right. Yeah. Um. And but and she, of course, she's not going to match match my enthusiasm. Right. Like few people are. Um. It, it, when something hits for me, it hits pretty well. Significantly. It, this is hard. right around the same time. It's the same kind of New Year's Eve sort of thing. And get crazy hit hard with me. I'm like, Jason, you're gonna love this, and you didn't. And I didn't. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah it just didn't. It just didn't work for me. Yeah. And that's that's kind of weird. Sometimes yeah. that just happens. Uh, because I watched every minute of that. I thought it was like, oh, Jason's going to love this I know. Movie. I know. <laughs> I, 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 I honestly, the whole time I was watching, I was disappointed in myself. I, and I was in you, too. Because I was like, I should, I should really like this. <laughs> Which movie are we talking about? I got lost. Get, Get cra- Crazy. It's oh, another right. New Year's Eve rock and roll type movie that <laughs> fucking Lou Reed showing up like hours late is hilarious to me. Anyway. I, I, <laughs> I don't know what it is, and I, I, we won't get into it. But I, I will. Chuck, I will I'll loan it. To I will you. try okay. to give that movie another chance. Um, <laughs> let's get crazy. Let's get crazy. <laughs> and the, and even the name of the movie is it's named after a Sparks song. Yes, like like, like Jeff was like, Jesus gonna love this movie." <laughs> <laughs> That's why you didn't like it. And I yeah, I, I really wanted pay, to. I was so disappointed. Like I was that. so disappointed <laughs> that I that I didn't love it. Because <laughs> you're right. I mean that that on paper is exactly my thing. Yeah, and this is, and like, when I was like digging into this, it's like, all right, what am I getting myself into with this on this, this, you know, Starstruck business? Star I was like, Star- <laughs> I was a little late. <laughs> <laughs> a little late on that one. But, uh, but I thought it's like, oh, okay. Yeah. All right. I'm, I'm already primed with, with get crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You, know, you really were. That was a good primer. It, it was. Um, man. Okay. So, what else should we mention about this movie? So yeah, so basically, yeah, let's let's get to the let's get to the revelation of Terry. Oh my gosh, yes, most definitely. <laughs> this is that's that's probably my second favorite song too. <laughs> I really like that song. Um, I got to pull up the soundtrack. So she talk about the revelation of Terry. Yeah, so the, she the she does the, the really awkward like performance. And Terry's like, well, you know, she's like, oh, I was awful. I was awful. And he's like, well, there were two things you could be terrible and interesting. Yeah. And you weren't terrible. Yep. Yeah. And she kind of perks up a little bit. And he's like, look, we're going to have a party. Go to the roof of the whatever. A really hotel. unique party. Yeah. A really right. unique party. You'll, you'll love it. You'll, 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 it'll be great. <laughs> so she walks in like she's going to get laid. Pretty much. I mean, like. Yeah, and you're like, oh man, is this movie gonna get? Is it gonna go there? Is it gonna go there? But no, right. you have two men on a float, Terry, <laughs> <laughs> both in bikinis. Yes, both yeah. in bikinis, very bulgy. Oh um, God, I know exactly what Terry's dick looks like. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry to say, but oh, yeah, I do. Yeah, that I might be, like, that might be why it's unsuitable for children. <laughs> it's, it's because you could see everything. I was yeah. just, it's too late. I've seen everything. <laughs> I think I said, "What's all these things?" <laughs> And there it is. It's all in there. <laughs> oh, that's what they mean by cookie. Yeah. <laughs> There's the cookie. <laughs> Don't blow, Don't on blow on it. Cookie. <laughs> but yes, and then they have this wonderful. Is it like Devo esque? I don't even know how to. Yeah, kind of Devo esque synchronized swimming music video. It's amazing. It is amazing. And it's, it's amazing. It's just, it's, it, it's the, the what... men in Speedos are, are doing the like go go dance with the arms up in the air. Oh, my God. And... Yeah. Oh, it's just wonderful. And then Jeff's <laughs> favorite part, what do they start doing? Oh, they start what? wrestling with blow up uh, sharks. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, this is fucking great. <laughs> they even shoot it at one point, like all the sharks are attacking them. Yes. And it's like a scene out of Jaws. It's so good. Yeah, it gets with really the choppy red and it's really red and the filtered. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like a lower light. That, I think that's my favorite part of the movie, honestly. It was- and it happens immediately. Like she walks in. And she looks ahead, and she sees Terry on the float with just, with another man, and his music starts. Yep. Well, and then it's like, but it's oh. like, <laughs> but but then it's like all the synchronized swimmers are also and then in they tiny also speedos, gather around yeah. in speedos around the pool, yeah. 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 And it's and like some dive oh. into the pool. It's and, like you you don't have to make yourself you don't have to, she doesn't have to make a fool of herself. Nope. to get this revelation, it's instant and yep. it's yeah. yeah it's great it's wonderful i mean the dudes are there's three guys at one point that are 
ankle locked around the other dudes heads and they're going in a circle in the water and then people start diving through them <laughs> yeah. yeah i'm like this is the best thing I've at, ever at, seen. at one point they make a, a human raft for 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 jackie yeah and she's yeah. laying on the human raft of men <laughs> yeah it's amazing <laughs> well and it's it, but it is also shot like those busby berkeley oh yeah musical oh, yes, numbers yes, too definitely. so it's like it's it's kind of a throwback to that. It's like uh-huh. we're gonna have the 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 reveal that this guy is mega gay, <laughs> yeah, but also do it in a way that is kind of, for better or worse, kind of stereotypically, kind of fay like that. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah, yeah, a little stereotypically, but yeah, it's but it's but right. It's, it's, yeah, yeah, it just right. it works. It's not done. Um, it, it's not done. There's nothing mean spirited about no, it. Absolutely no, absolutely not. No, it, it is, <laughs> and it it also is really good that it's like we already know that's the score. Yeah, it's like she didn't do anything wrong, right? And she doesn't have to sully herself. Or right. chase after something. At least not with Terry, real. right? Well, yeah. not with Terry. But yeah, but I mean, like, but the thing is, that allows for her to then go back to... Um, Angus. Well, and to her guitarist boyfriend. It's like, beg yeah. for forget. I'm sorry. I right. screwed up. Right. Why, she, why did we not know Terry was gay? <laughs> as Angus tells us. Angus is like, he can't be. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, wait, dude, what do you mean he can't be? <laughs> because... Because he doesn't have a mustache. <laughs> <laughs> Which is hilarious because his dad has a mustache. Yes, that is hilarious. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but it's like the perfect thing for a 14-year-old boy to say in 1982 also. Right. Yeah. Like, it's just wonderful. Yeah, yeah. it's like, of course. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> and she has the line, the wholesome line you mentioned, like, he just wanted to be my friend. Yeah. Yeah. Which is just, oh. Yeah, that's well, like the, the most wholesome, sweetest thing. Yeah, yeah, and you know, but and of course she misread it because yeah. she crushed on him anyway, and she and probably since she was a little girl, right? Yeah, and because that's how the music business works, right? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. that she's, is what she's people think, that. Of, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, and she wants it in this case, but I don't know. Yeah. It's good stuff, but then she goes in the one scene I really don't care for in the movie where she does the apology. The apology song to, to Robbie. To Robbie. Yeah. Yeah. And it's yeah. sweet. Like, it's it's a sweet scene. Yeah. It's it's done well. It's just like, eh. Well, it's a part of the movie that's not zany. Yeah, it's not. There's the 20% the, you were Yeah, about, probably a little less than, a little more, or less than 20%. Yeah. yeah. You Maybe. said you said I 20%. said about 20% yeah. non-zany, but it's probably more like well, 5 to 10. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, it, it's it's a hundred and five minute movie. Yeah, that was about ten minutes of dealing with the fact that they're going to lose the bar, the bar. She has to apologize. She made a, a fool of herself. Although, then they have cut New Year's that, Eve. Well, but they cut that in between with the with the. Well, he can't be gay because he doesn't have a mustache. Right. So you have that kind of scene that is a little zany. Yeah, but then you know, but then you also have credits. So yeah, about ten. You also have credits. <laughs> yeah, we'll say about ten percent. It's about ten percent. The ten fifteen percent non zany. Uh, but that's right. another moment, like to back to <laughs> Angus and her sitting with the opera house behind him, which is a cool shot. Oh, and too. the uncle finding the cockatoo. And on the, the street. uncle finding the cockatoo. <laughs> but just this moment where Angus could be really mad at her. Yeah, he could be terrible. To yeah, her. yeah. And he's nothing but supportive. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's, there's bigger fish it's to awesome. fry. Awesome. Yeah. Also. Yeah, he knows that they're losing the bar. Yes. yes. He's like, this is this is secondary this is stuff. To that. This is yeah. yeah. We have a family to. But he also knows yeah. she could have blown the shot for them to save the bar, and he's still. Yeah. Well, uh, don't supportive. worry. He's got a zany. Well, idea. I know. I'm just saying. <laughs> I really like this kid. Yeah. Is what I'm trying no, to say. No, he is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, can I say that there there were a couple of moments in this movie where it's like, is a monkey's movie about the breakout or a monkey's episode about the breakout? <laughs> yeah. You know, like when she was like, you know, like doing uh, hanging off of the tightrope at the beginning. It's like, is Mike and Mickey going to be down there taking bets? On yeah, whether you even, she's you even th- said this is this movie is, is almost as much sixties as it is eighties. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And then when they like break into the opera house, yeah, it's like okay, at any moment things are going to speed up and like Pleasant Valley Sunday is going to start yeah. playing. Well, yeah, <laughs> even 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 when Angus and the and the Wombats are doing Angus's song, if that song had a different vibe to it. That's straight up a monkey's episode. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> another another uh, another A plus musical over there from. That's very true. Um, <laughs> I guess yeah. I guess Head is considered a musical. Oh yeah. Um, man, I I really like that movie. <laughs> <laughs> I still haven't seen it yet. And you said Chuck while we were watching that it was also really making you want to watch Phantom of the Paradise again. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, because it, I don't know, this movie like transcends decades, I guess, because it had a 50s feel a lot, too. It, yeah, a little bit. Yep. Like, everyone was like in a different decade that's well, in yeah, this movie. Almost. I mean, the, the pub is on the same part of the city that, that Streets of Fire took place in. Right. Yeah, there were people getting thrown out of windows. and <laughs> yeah. there's, a, there's an L over it. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, yeah. yeah. yeah absolutely. <laughs> I didn't even think about the L. That's great. <laughs> you like, you know, it's like, uh, uh, oh, what's her name that was also in Warriors? It's like, uh, she's out there on the street just waiting to talk to somebody, you know, coming out of that corner. Yeah. Right. Bu- yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh yeah you know she's just right around the corner yeah, yeah absolutely <laughs> so what do we have for the finale of this movie angus is his plan is basically i'm gonna take the wombats and i'm gonna take you and we're gonna break into the opera well there is one yeah. thing so there is a christmas oh yeah the here. christmas yeah so there is there is a good little this is another this is one of those quiet non-zany moments that's yeah. actually a really good moment yeah because the family is just their cares are behind them they're gonna have one last christmas together yeah um even and nana's defeated she is and she's never been defeated right in this whole thing so um you know so it's like she's kind of bedridden at this point too she's so defeated well yeah. she choked on her her uh teeth yeah. And then she didn't want to get up. What is that called? Why can't I remember what it's called? Dentures? Her dentures. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, words her, sometimes her escape me. <laughs> dentures? <laughs> sometimes when I freestyle, Star-star. I lose confidence. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they're, they're Kiwis, though. They Those are. Leave them out of here. Leave them out of yeah, here. Yeah. They wouldn't like being, nope. being mixed up too much. Nope. No, they you got to like leave that. them out of here. Yeah. yeah. Um, so the... Um, uh yeah so like there's a nice scene with with nana and um and angus. angus where he gives her a crystal ball yeah and he's like look you can you can get money for um telling people's futures and she's like because ah, she did say earlier that she can talk to uh the dead or something yeah the yeah. cockatoo guy was like you hear voices you've told us <laughs> right. your voice she's like there's a difference between hearing a voice and speaking. And, and my powers my psychic powers yes, or something. yes. right <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, oh okay. all right. she has psychic powers. All right. So he gives her that and um, check off psychic powers. Just <laughs> yeah, hanging on yeah, the wall. Yeah, there. Check, check that on your, off your bingo card. Yeah. yeah. Um, but then the mom ga- gives. Um, the mom gives her or gives uh, Jackie a, a dress that she wore. Like it's like a prom dress or something. And she's like, you know, it's like, well, I was waiting to give this to you, but it's like, it, it it's very very much Jackie style. Oh yeah, you know it's like it's a big poofy skirt and it looks like like a fifties like almost like a prom dress. Yes. Um, and you know, and so basically, you're almost like, oh, she's giving that to her almost as if to say this is something that will help you stand out because that's what you like to do. Um, and of course, we know. She's going to wear it in the numbers. She's going to wear it in the final, you know, in the finale. Yeah. Which is funny because she has to fit it under a workman's coveralls. Yeah. And so it makes her look super fat. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering when they were behind jumping up the steps, I was like, who's the fatty? Yeah, who's the fat one? <laughs> who's the fat person? <laughs> they haven't been in this movie all movie. Is that Nana? I was like, is Nana in on this? <laughs> no disrespect to Nana. No, but... But banana's a bigger lady. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Nana went bananas later. Nana does go bananas. <laughs> <laughs> when I think Angus must tell her the plan. Yeah. Because she's all excited and yeah. she's turning on the TV, turning it up with the claw hand. She's <laughs> dressed in like her gypsy outfit. She's going right. to tell futures at the bar. Yes. And then she's like, they're playing, somebody's playing some really lame, morose music on the piano that they're kind of half, half heartedly singing along to. And she's like, I had enough of this morose stuff. <laughs> it's like I like this new stuff better now. And she yeah. turns the to TV on. Yeah, right. Yeah. It's the it's the it's the, it's the Dick Clark's Rock Around the Clock. Yep. Yeah. But uh, so then, so 
she uh yeah so this is now you know where we get to the finale where yes they're gonna bust in and they're gonna go uh basically take the final spot that was supposed to go to is that supposed to be the um they're a big the first band at the beginning yes yes okay yes Wait, and the, the first band at the beginning. The, at the at the bar that Jackie first sang at. No, that's the Wombats. No, 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 no. The the Oh wait. No, no, the guy the the other band played first and then the Wombats Maybe, came. Maybe, but on. they're an established act. I think yeah. they're the bonus act. Where at this. where it gets funky is I think they're both the same band. Because <laughs> <laughs> Because the guy singing at the end in like the black outfit yeah. who's singing Starstruck is the the main guy yeah you missed it <laughs> is the main guy from the swingers yes, and, yes. that's who i was thinking and the, was swingers the swingers are the band that, that are the wombats yeah so so they play like both okay. they play like oh my god they kind of play themselves you I played think. yourself <laughs> and they also play the fictional band <laughs> right at, at the in the finale it's, okay. it's kind of wonky All but right. they are not a contestant though that's the important okay. part they, they're they, gonna they close they gonna the show the guest star, the yes. guest uh, yes. they were yeah. the the headliner yes, yes. yes. so yes. right and it's it's great how uh, angus like uh, scopes out the place during like rehearsals and stuff and he's, oh, yeah, like, he's taking pictures pretending it's it's like a souvenir but really he's getting the lay of the land right yeah yeah, yeah. That kid's smart. smart. Angus is real smart. Nothing would have happened in this movie without him. No. <laughs> Nothing. No. no. I mean, Jackie would have been singing along in the radio at, at the bar. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And they maybe would have lost the bar. Yeah. Probably. Probably. Most Definitely. probably. Yeah. Yep. So, um, well, Angus gets a happy ending. Though. He does. It's so <laughs> weird. weird. It's, it's so really weird. weird. Like, who is that? I have no idea. Who is it? And there's a TV out there. Yeah. Yeah, anyway. And it's bizarre. We'll get to that. We'll she get to she that. almost looks like a flight attendant or something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it feels tacked on, but it feels right. Yeah, he should you get something. You know what I mean? Well, like, he, he worked he real sh- hard. He did. He 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 should get something that's his. Yes, yeah. he he, yeah. he achieved his achieved achieved, achieved <laughs> his dream, right? This is what the dream of a 14-year-old yes, boy would be. Yes, most definitely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 well, but she was also into his cousin's music. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, it's like, well, that's right there. That's that's uh, step one. <laughs> Do you like my cousin's and, music? And, and maybe she can sing cuz oh, maybe she bit. maybe she's an act. Maybe right? she could have been from a previous act, and maybe she can sing him. His maybe, next project, maybe she'll, she'll be his next project, and maybe she'll sing his songs. Maybe oh, something, oh. something that Jackie oh she hates doing, she hated but, doing. But the 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 surfboard song though oh is God. great. It's so funny. What's funny about that is like she is the generation beyond him almost, right? Right. Yeah. So his music is what's going to break next. Yeah, right. The but nostalgia. she doesn't recognize yeah. it. Yeah. Nostalgia yeah. wave. Yeah. 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 Nostalgia wave. <laughs> <laughs> so the, um, yeah, so basically they, they decide that they're going to do a, they're going to do a thing. They're going to do a heist. Yeah. Basically. And they're going to sneak in. They're all, they all know exactly what the stagehands are wearing, which is very uh, cheap trick guy. Yeah. Yeah. The guy who always made the funny faces playing guitar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um It's also a little Devo too, right? It is a little Devo yeah. too, yeah. It's like it's like cheap Devo. Cheap yeah. Devo. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so not close encounters Devo. Cheap no, Devo. Cheap Devo. <laughs> I mean, I'm convinced that Close Encounters Devo was Devo. <laughs> it was, I'm pretty sure. They didn't have the weird pyramids on their head. But. Yeah. No, it's either it's either Devo or V. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. Deep, Deep. Uh, yeah, it. yeah. He oh. saw the he saw the gears starting to work. There. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry for the dead, dead <laughs> for the dead. Whenever stop there. there's dead air, Jeff is thinking really hard about something, <laughs> and Jason and I don't know what to do. We're, yeah. we're worried about him. <laughs> we're staring at the cogs you, turn. You, you don't know if I'm thinking or if I'm holding in a fart. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we know you're not holding in a fart. No. Um, <laughs> but yeah, they do a thing, right? They break in. They do their song, which is fine. Like, I wish it was an earlier... Some of the earlier songs were, like, more spunky and, like... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I would have liked to have heard that first song again. Probably. The, um, yeah, the monkey... Temper Temper. Yeah. That one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's a good song. Um, but it's Monkey and Me, which is fine. Well, the, it's a fine the, song, song. the song at the bar, when they're trying to impress Terry, that was the big hit from the movie. 
like yes. charted pretty high. I'm going to trust him. The I'm going to trust him song. Um, I think yeah. it's the. It's what um, is the name of that song? Is it? It's not enough. I don't know, but she says I'm going to trust him with my future in yeah. the song like five times, I think. Yeah, and she's talking about Terry. Oh, uh, she got body, she got soul. Yeah, that's the. Yes, body and soul. The, yeah. That's right. Yeah, and that that I think there's a few different versions of that song because I want to say that was also a swinger song. It was split end song. Or split end song. Okay, there you go. Yep. Anywho. Yeah, so anyway, so that that's what I would have liked to have heard, too. I mean, the, the other song is fun, but it feels like a B-side. A little bit. A little bit. I mean, I'm going to be... But it's good enough... To win. To, to Yeah, to take over the whole entire crowd. <laughs> this is what the kids want to hear. Yeah. Right? Because the yeah. whole audience are young people. They're into, yeah. Oh, they are young. Yeah. yeah. They are like... They're like Angus's age. Right. Or younger. Yeah, I almost wish we could have gotten some sort of parody acts before just to see the competition. Yeah. Oh, know? man. Like, have like a polka band out there or yeah, something? Yeah, like, yeah. It's like to really show how out of touch Terry is. Terry is, is. Yeah. 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 But the good thing about Terry here is that, again, he's supportive. Yeah. yeah. Right? He well, doesn't he try to... He's, he, he wants to be a lot part of what's big, too. Right. Right. He, he can hear the crowd. Be, he needs to be guided just as much as, as some of the acts need to be guided. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Yep. And then he hands the check over, like, immediately. <laughs> yeah. He's like, like, you win. win. There's no vote. No. Nope. It's just, here it is. Terry, the, the crowd is money. smoking. <laughs> <laughs> I think he even says something like that. Yeah. Like, that the crowd is. Do you like them? We do, too. He, and right. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. like, here you go. Here's a big check. Yeah. And the other bands are probably like, fuck. <laughs> and I don't think we, we don't have like a denouement where they sh- show that they saved the bar or anything, but you have to assume. Yeah, I mean, it's $25,000. Bar is saved. Bar well, is saved. the bar is happy and they're outside dancing now. And Angus, yes, they're outside dancing. Oh, Angus and- gets thrown out by the cheap trick. Cheap yes. Devo guys. Yes, he does. Yeah. He gets thrown out and that's when he finds the girl and at the end yes. he's rolling down the stairs. Yeah, just, she's just sitting there dancing and singing to a TV yeah. along with his sister. Alone in the, in the lobby. There is nothing else out there. No. Like, it's like fucking dead end drive-in and out then, there. Yeah. <laughs> and then their eyes meet. And, and it's and, on. And she just blows a bubble, a bubble gum bubble that pops. Yeah. And, he and then he gives her the raises eyebrows. Raises his eyebrows. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's so good. It's fucking on at that point. And, yeah, right there. Yep. It's on. It's on. Man, they just roll down roll the down stairs, the stairs making out. <laughs> good for him. <laughs> and then the whole the whole bar is doing the conga line out the door. They're just, everybody's everybody's happy. Everybody's and happy. you go out on a high note with some fireworks. Yep. Yep. And then, oddly, I don't understand this. They had the... I know it's a firework, but it sounded like a bomb. Yeah, it did. Well, like I said, like New Zealand was like, hey, we're trying to sleep down here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so shut it up. It could have been showing, like, she explodes after this or something. Probably. Like she gets yeah. huge or what. I don't yeah. know. Whatever. It's a good movie. It feels good. It feels good. It's a it's a fun little movie. Um, I might suggest the um, the captions. Yeah, you could. the captions could be helpful. Especially. I almost watch everything with captions now. So, <laughs> well, we're old, so yeah. yeah, I can see, I can see why we might need to do that. There, are, someday. there, are, there is some dialogue that is difficult to decipher, and and honestly, like the lyrics to the the, the songs, I think it's good to have the the captions on for. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. But um, yeah, no, I mean, I I echo Chuck exactly what you said. I mean, sometimes it's just good. To have a good feeling movie. Yeah. And we've had a month where a guy is fucking dying in the desert, <laughs> shooting kangaroos yeah. with a crazy Donald Pleasance. Uh-huh. Um, we've had vampire uh, economy. Yeah. We had um, a, a, a murderer. Yeah. In a, in a van. Yeah, strangle, strangulizing murderer. Strangulizing. 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 Strang- That's perfect. Yeah. Strangulation. Strangul, yeah, whatever. Next strangler. week. It's just a strangler. Is kind of a bummer. It in is. In a way. It is, but it's also just like. It's Australian, like, dystopia. To me, to me, like, the, the last movie, next week's movie, which I'll just, I'll spoil it. It's Dead End Driving. It is the most exploitation of absolutely and not only is it exploitation but it is it is <laughs> it, it uses exploita- exploitation films as a plot point yes <laughs> right yeah it does. yeah and it, it is i think the truest 
ozploitation film of the bunch. Sure. And I and I think it's the perfect way to end the month. But yeah, yeah it's dystopian. But it's yeah. fun as hell. Yeah, this movie is like Starstruck. Starstruck. <laughs> it's like uh, Oh shit, one of us should have <laughs> yeah, what are you should have gotten on it. It's like the Ita- or the Australian tourism movie, right? It's like you can come over here, it's fun. Right. You right. Yeah, look right. how good look, time we'll look, how, look, look how good a time we have. Everybody yeah. in the bar. All the other the movies same, this yeah. month are like, once you get here, you're gonna die though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. Yeah. <laughs> See, we didn't show one snake, we didn't show one spider. <laughs> no, nope. but you're gonna die. <laughs> even 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 the pubs are fun, and yep. we promise you. Only one guy gets thrown out of a window. Yep. We do have some choreography that includes slapping people in the face, but it's Australia. Yeah, <laughs> it's Australia. <laughs> yeah. Hey, and next week also we finally get an appearance by Fosters. Yes, yes. <laughs> we do. We do. Next episode's uh, brought to you by Fosters Beer. Yep. And exploitation. <laughs> and exploitation. <laughs> so um, yeah, I guess uh, so. There you go. That's what's next week. See you guys later. Bye. Bye. In the end of episode. Bye. No, um, yeah, so I guess we're done? Yeah, yeah we're done. Okay. Yeah. There I don't think go. I have anything else. Maybe I'll mention that um, uh, the director, who's now a name I've already Jillian. Um, Jillian Armstrong. She went on to have quite a good career in Hollywood. She Well, she made the uh, multiple Academy Award nominated Little Women. Yes. Um, she famously made the 1994, I think, mm-hmm. Little Women with, with Susan Renona Sarandon, Ryder. Renona Ryder, Claire Danes. Yep. Ooh, Winona um, Ryder was nominated for that. Yes, she made a couple movies with um, Kate Blanchett. Yep, that were that are very well regarded. Um, yeah, so she, uh, she, she had, yeah. she had, and she's still, I think, working today. She's she's had a good career. Yeah, um, let's see. Some of the ones that she has. Uh, well, she did the uh, Mrs. Safel or Sofel with um, Diane Keaton and Mel oh, Gibson. Yeah. Yep, that was her follow up to this. Yep. Um. But yeah, Little Women, Charlotte Gray. Charlotte Gray. I was can't play chat. Yep. Um, yeah. So Oscar and Lucinda mm-hmm. with Ray Fiennes and Kate. Lane. Was that kind of one of those um, Merchant Ivory flicks? Kind of. I don't remember. Yeah. I don't think I ever saw it. I mean, that it's, a, it's a um, period piece, I think. Yeah, I think it is. Oh, hmm. Sarian Hines also in it. Oh, interesting. Anyway. Um next yeah. week dead end drive-in yep. yes um chuck would you say just go over to film just go to film seizure.com you can find out all of the things about us where we're at what we do all that stuff also on film seizure.com we have jeff's show monster mondays which airs yep. on mondays yes this coming monday we're going to s- listen to a uh, return of dimension nice just, where uh, jeff finds three things he likes about a movie that's exactly right. No matter how bad the movie about is, a, although... About a monster movie. Yeah. About a monster movie. Now, Return of Dim- Dimension is a pretty good movie. It's yeah. a Japanese uh, flick, uh, middle of a middle chapter of a trilogy. Good stuff. Um, yeah. So that is uh, all that stuff. Filmseizure.com, just like Chuck said. Um, this upcoming Friday at my website, bmovieinima.com, you can read what I have to say about Hellmaster, a movie that did not age well between first and second screen. <laughs> Is that Julian Scenes? No. No, that's not. Sorry. Uh, it is a John Saxon. Okay, yeah. yeah, Saxon. All right. Yeah. It still has a vibe, though. It's got a vibe. It's got <clears throat> shitty editing. Yeah. Anyway, um, it almost it's almost there. It's almost uh-huh. there, but it mm-hmm. falls flat. Anyway, read about it. Read yeah. about it. Uh, see what Jeff thinks. It's a big thing. I got to think about it. So, um, yeah. So, we will wrap things up down under... Yeah, we will. <laughs> we will. <laughs> I mean, I... <laughs> all that raw dogging. <laughs> Get your prophylactics out. <laughs> I wonder how many meal tickets that that will cost. Um, anyway, we'll see you at the drive-in. The star. Drive-in? The star drive-in. The star drive-in. Yeah. I am Jeff Arbuckle. I'm Chuck Moore. I am Jason, Jason. Oliver. <laughs> Do you have been listening to Film <laughs> Seizure? <laughs> <laughs> Did I ruin your joke? <laughs> no. <laughs>